Hi, Boris. <laughs> hey, I'm going to read a story from my book promotion that came out last year. This is like the fifth take, that's why I sounded so casual. Um, this story is called Sylvia Plath's House Hangover. It's not funny, so I need to get this serious. One, I don't think that I think it's okay to go to a house where a poet lived 50 plus years ago, but I have done this type of thing many times before. And anyway, everyone else is into it. I don't care about me today. There is a lot of pain in my ribcage, emotional. It's sort of funny. If I could have what I want, would I still want it? I think so, actually, but there are almost a million things. How much longer can I? Yeah, never mind. Two, I have been to her grave and that wasn't an accident. I drove two hours to get there and I wrote a story about it and I took a picture and I put it on my blog and that was also not okay, I see now. There were a lot of pens on the headstone. I walked over a lot of other bodies to find hers. It was a stupid thing to have done. She was buried in the secondary cemetery behind the church. I kept thinking of it as overflow parking, which just reminded me of going to some casino in Pennsylvania. Three, it was a few years ago though and I was depressed and I read Lady Lazarus on the car after I stopped to get gas. I didn't have anywhere else to go and it was windy that day and the grave was at the top of a hill. Oh, are we going to the house that she died in? Her kids were in the building when she killed herself. That's the first thing everybody always says. There was a man who lived downstairs. He was old. I wonder what happened when he died and what his story was. Her fame was almost entirely posthumous. What's the point? Four. I didn't have a good time last night and that was my fault. Take another deep breath and keep lying to yourself. Five. I don't want to be famous, but I'd sacrifice a lot for freedom. I mean economic freedom. Does anybody ever want the things that are readily available to them? Gabby said that somebody worth having is going to be a lot more difficult and that I have to try harder. I'm not sure. I started writing a poem and one of the lines said, being in love means that rooftop in Manhattan when you said, don't do it. And I said, I was just thinking that. Six, that didn't really happen though. Seven, that really happened. Eight, everything I write is fiction, same as everyone else. Nine, the yellow of the leaves and the blue of the sky are begging for some blood to come falling from somewhere. I can smile thinking about primary colours. I'm glad I didn't take any of the drugs last night. When I'm dead, don't go to my house and put pictures on your Instagram. It's just tacky. I'm kidding. You can do whatever you want. Don't use a filter. Send a Snapchat from my funeral. 10. I'm not going to die soon. Technology will have moved on. 11. There is a statue in London on top of a marble arch and it is a statue of a woman riding a chariot pulled by four horses. I never feel anything big enough to justify a statue like that, and I'm pretty sure nobody else does either, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm willing to believe that. I miss you a lot, and often. 12. When I woke up in the hotel room, there was so much hurting inside me. When I feel bad, I think of you. I want to ask, do you have this feeling inside of your chest all of the time? 13. It seems to be about the size and weight of an avocado. Not right. That's it. I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you.